Hey everyone, I'm back with a Happy Mail share and a little bit of a haul. Okay, I received some Happy Mail from my friend Vicky today. I was not expecting to see anything, but it's always nice to receive. So I'm going to share with you what she sent me. I have not cracked open what was in here yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have just cut open the box. So let's see what she sent. Um, today is Thursday, by the way. It is April 4th. No, April 6th. <laughs> I read my clock backwards. Um, April 6th. Uh, and so Easter is this coming weekend. And so let me see what she sent me. Uh, look at this cute little bunny. Cute. And she's wrapped some fibers around here for grass. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna open this green one first. I don't know what this is. Vicki, I hope you're doing really well. It has been so crazy here. Work has been just nuts. Oh, wow. Oh, little goodies. So, a, pair, a pack of shortbread rounds. Love these. I love this um, brand of shortbread. And some Easter grass. <laughs> And some strawberry, specifically high chews. So I'm just going to put that on my desk somewhere. I think I have a little place I can put them. And then high chews for Mr. G. He likes this um, pack because he likes the, the mango specifically. Um, but I usually let him take these out to his shop and he will munch away on those. So thank you for the 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 yummies um and this is so so pretty this easter grass is like a green blue sort of you can see it right that's pretty of course i couldn't get myself together for easter unfortunately i am still in the throes of cleaning up in here um hopefully this weekend i'll finish out what i need to do so i can get to crafting because i've got to do a project um that's pretty ribbon too. That has the same sort of sparkle that the grass did. Oh, and it's stretchy. Ooh, I'm keeping that. We'll put it on another package or something. Or something. <sighs> okay, let's see what she sent me here. Ooh, yay! Oh my gosh. Okay, I know one of the things she made because I saw her video on it. Look at that. So I don't know when, but I know I sent her uh, a package before and it had this wrapping paper and she's recycled it into making the envelopes, the handmade envelopes that she's been doing. And she sewed this one. Um, I think she's been sewing the other ones too, but she's used that wrapping paper inside of it's laminated. And this one's a vertical one, but she does have them going this way as well. And then she's used some pretty trim. It's like a brown to teal, and she's even threaded. Did you thread that on there? Because I don't think I could do that. <laughs> There's a butterfly on here. Um, it's really pretty. Wow. Okay, let's open this. See what she's stuffed inside of it. So this, this front pocket has, oh, cute, an air freshener. Oh, um, ice cream air freshener. I don't know if that's the scent. New car. Is that the scent? I don't know if that's the scent. No, I can't smell it. <laughs> but it is an air freshener. I don't know what it smells like, but I'll find out. I'll put it in the car. Um, it's cute. And even, oh, okay, so even this one has, like, um, she's put confetti in here and little um, sprinkles, uh, what do you call it? Not sequins, but, you know, sprinkles um, inside of the laminated pouch. And then, oh, there's more stuff. Look at that, there's a little goodie in here. Belgian milk chocolate bark. And it's in the shape of a rabbit. Cute. Okay, I'm going to enjoy that for sure. Put it here. And then she's made this little envelope. 
And I think this is where the card is. I didn't see it until now. May your day be filled with sunshine and happiness. Love, Vicky. So she stamped the bunny. And this is a little tag. Or like an insert for this envelope. And the envelope is actually um, <coughs> embossed. Excuse me. Okay, I was going to have a coughing fit there. And she's even made a little postage stamp. How cute is that? So, thank you, Vicky. I love this. I'm going to put your little card back in here so I don't lose that. And I'll know that, well, I know that you made it because, of course, I know this. And she's put my initials in there. Look at that. I didn't see that at first. I wonder, I think you die cut that, maybe. Um, unless they're stickers. But they're in that famous font that a lot of us like. And then she's included this little <laughs> strawberry um, pouch. It's This is Rilakkuma, right? Yep, Rilakkuma. Um, cute, cute. I love it. Of course I'll use this because I can use any sort of um, pouch for, for pens or pencils. Um, this is really cute. Or even makeup brushes or whatever. That's so cute. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, I appreciate that. I hope you are doing well. Um, let me share with you some stamps that I got. And these are all stamps from eBay. They are purchased from different sellers. Um, this first set is um, a new to me um, brand. Uh, I have never seen these before. And I was, I don't remember how this showed up. This showed up in one of my searches, my saved searches. So this um and three other stamp or two other stamps here are from the same maker it's called pieces patches and pieces of me now the name of the stamps are not on here it's that's just the manufacturer and i don't know much about them at all so i just like the stamps this is like a garden angel she's standing inside of a um watering can cute cute <clears throat> and then here's another angel. She's got a little um, stuffed um, animal in her, like a cat maybe, in her hand. So she's like a little doll. You can see her. And then this is a bunny. Again, these are all the same manufacturer. There's no names for the actual stamps on them. And they are in great condition. Um, so I picked them up. And these, are, these, this three are from, I think, the same seller. This is from a different seller. Um, this is one of those Darcy stamps. This have a name? Rainbow Cookies. So it's a recipe for rainbow cookies. So I'll add that to my collection. And then these are the containers that I was showing you before in my little cube storage. I had, um, I had purchased these stamps and knew they were coming, so I needed some empty ones and found some empty ones still. So... These are uh, all inky antic stamps. Um, some of these are from Tammy DeYoung, and the rest would be from Buttermilk Basin. So I will point them out to you. Um, I think this one is a Buttermilk Basin. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. These are from different sellers, okay? Um, and the ones that are turn upside down. I already had these. These are all Tammy DeYoung stamps. So I've already shown these in a previous haul, but they're just sitting out because they were actually in one of these containers. So this one is a buttermilk basin. These, like I said, they're all in inky antique stamps. This one, this little um, can, the sunflowers or flowers, these sunflowers, which I think would look great in the can, like together. Um, or these, and then this one here with the egg basket, the, um, Christmas so stockings, the ball jar, which I really love because it's got the, the L's are stitched like they're little X's. So that's really cute. Um, this, uh, plant pot right here is a buttermilk basin. And this one right here is as well. I think that's the last one. And then, um... The rest are going to be from Tammy DeYoung. So this little set of, uh, there's a trio of bunnies inside of this basket. This um, 
I, I guess it's a bug <laughs> or a bunny. No, she's got ears and the bunny feet and wings. So this little um, guy, um, see the one that was turned over, she, she draws that sort of thing a lot. Um, that's what similar to what these are. So um, this one is a Tammy Young. Um, this one is as well with little birds, happy harvest. So that's a fall one. These are bunny slippers. And I think that was it. So those are the wood stamps that I got. I do have a haul coming. I can't wait to show you that one because it's gingerbread and it will probably get its own because there's like 24 stamps in that order. Um, I can't wait to show you that. But anyway, um, thanks guys for watching. And again, Vicki, thank you for your um, happy mail. I appreciate it so much. I hope you're doing well and I hope you all are doing well and enjoy the holiday weekend. Uh, with friends and family if you celebrate Easter. If you don't, still enjoy the weekend. Um, I hope to do some crafting this weekend and also finish cleaning up my room for real. <laughs> it'll be clean as it's going to get and then it'll get messy again. So um, I don't know if I'll show a finished, I don't know if I'll show a finished video. But anyway, that is it for now. Um, talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm back. I thought I was done with packages for today, but I got another one in the mail just now. Maybe the postal carrier forgot about this one. Here is the Simon Says stamp code uh, for $5 off. Um, if you don't already have it, good until April 15th at 11.59 Eastern Time. So that's where I ordered from, the website. Um, I ordered a couple of things. I was actually looking for something. Um, this, this little thing came up and then I went and found other stuff. <laughs> so, um, I think it's the last haul video that I did where I got a stamp from the Simon Says Stamp. It was a kit, actually. Somebody told me it was one of their kits. And I'd gotten a stencil that was a, uh, gingerbread, um, stencil. And here is a tag die for gingerbread. It's actually from the same, I think it was a kit that they had last year, maybe. And I missed out, of course, because I don't pay attention to Simon Says Stamp most of the time. So this little kit um, had the stencil and I had gotten a stamp that was unrelated, um, I believe. Hold on one second. Okay, this is the one. Here's the stencil. Okay. Um, so when I went looking, because somebody told me that was part of a kit, I decided to go look for it and they had the tags individually. So just so you know, this does not fit to the stencil. Okay. The stencil is entirely different. You can create a pan, sheet pan and put a gingerbread on it and put the little details on there. This one makes a tag and you can dress it up. That's it. Now, because I was on Simon Says Stamp and wanting to order this one thing, I didn't want to just order that and have to pay for shipping, so I ordered some other stuff. I ordered this Altenew. This was together, so you can see it's packaged like this. Creative Cookies Set from Altenew. Missed this one, too. So this one is a um, layering stamp in perspective. You can see that the, the cookie is kind of at a diagonal. Um, it's got three sentiments. It's from 2022. And it includes the dies. So you can create a girl and a boy cookie on a sheet and cut them out. So it comes together and it was pretty affordable. Um, so I picked that up. So you can see um, that's how the girl would be kind of on her side. And then that's the boy. So you can put them together on a sheet. All right, more gingerbread. This guy is a um, UK stamp set, more gingerbreads, um, time for tea designs. I bought the stamp and the design, the die for this. Um, let's see, does it have a year? No year. I don't know what year this is from, but cute gingerbread stamp set. I gotta stay in camera. I guess I'm like off not paying attention. And then they had some paper tray stuff that, um, 
they are a wholesaler for paper tray now. This this uh, die set came out before February, I believe, and it's been out of stock on their website. Um, so I went ahead and purchased it since I was making a purchase. It's a uh, concentric hearts, layered hearts. The outside is like a little scalloped edge with little holes in it. And these are not frames. They are just layers. Um, love to layer hearts. This one has XO, XO all the way around the heart. So it pierces that into the paper and it cuts the heart shape. And then this one is a um, smaller heart with little piercings for dots. So that's what this is. And then this one here is a very large crochet um, pattern. So it's a, it's actually two stencils. Here you go. So you can see when you use the two together, you can actually do different colors, right? So you can put um, alternating colors in between the, the columns here because there's two different stencils for that, okay? So you can alternate colors. You can also go this direction, alternating colors. So that's another thing you can do. So this one is Simple Stitch Crochet. That's what I got from Simon Says. I'm just going to hook the two videos together. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!